What's up, you guys? It's your girl. How are y'all holidays going? What's up? Hope y'all having like a really great morning, great afternoon, great evening, great day in general, whatever you guys are watching this. So, you know, it is holiday time. A girl put up her Christmas decorations a minute ago, though, for outside. Um, I am about to do it, uh, tackle the inside. I'm about to tackle the inside. Um, what was I about to say? But yeah, it's the holidays, y'all. I love Christmas. Like, serious, on a really serious note, I love Christmas. It ain't even about me getting no gifts, because I don't even need no gifts. You know what I'm saying? You know, when you get older, you don't need no gifts. It's all about making everybody else happy. So I love to see the grandkids get excited. You know, I said the grandkids. Four. Plural. Four little boys. Okay. Picture me folded, what? never that boy. Can't leave the kill without the drugs or the gap. No. If I wouldn't select, baby, yeah, that's on my back, boy. Get ear to the max, boy. Finny, that's a fact, boy. I'm from a place where it's dark outside. The late nights you can't walk outside. Bullets got the names on them. Hit you when your homeboys ride. As your mom shed her tears and she wondering why. Uptown double H, man, it's be the five. What? MP in the cut. What? Yeah, we get it live. Hey. Moses can't go to any hub and connect Shump could, baby Shump hella good, baby okay, a Fab MPY used to be uh -huh. Page Street, we was right next to JB yeah. Hot box, not the Pontiac, talk couldn't see And it's like that we live, man, it's full of sin So we cope with the pain, bottle with a gin, ayy New York, brim, fresh corn, bread, Tim Dice games on the corner, can't play if your pocket's slim Ayy, can't play, boy, never him And don't play the game if you ain't trying to win ay, I'm just trying to change my L's to 100 wins Hey, big dubs, you feel me? Yeah. I'm just trying to turn my L's to 100. So, I, and I love Christmas decorations. Like, I love decorating the inside of my house along with the outside. So, I'll definitely show y'all the outside, okay? But, um, and I will show y'all the inside once I finish, okay? But, yeah, I'm just, you know where I'm going, okay? Let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all, because I haven't spoken to y'all in a minute, but the whole week of Thanksgiving week, girl. I was so upset. Like, when I say upset, because I didn't get to go to the gym not one day. Not Monday, not Tuesday, not Wednesday. Definitely not on Thanksgiving. And I was really going to get up on Friday and go the day after. But then I was like, yeah, you probably won't be the only one in there. I'm pretty sure everybody else is going to be up in there trying to work off that turkey they ate. So I didn't go. When I went, and I don't go on the weekends. Y'all know I don't do the weekends. So when I went Monday, um, that following Monday... It was like, um, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't crowded in here at all for Thanksgiving. It wasn't. So I was like, not Thanksgiving, but the day after. I guess because everybody was shopping. Or are they even still doing Black Friday? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, because I haven't, let me tell y'all, I haven't went Black Friday shopping. God, sheesh. It's been a very long time since I went Black Friday shopping. To be honest with you, I don't, did I ever go Black Friday shopping here in Arizona since I've lived here? Like, I don't remember. I think I did once. I did, I think, I think I did one. Well, I know I did once in the, in the evening, but it wasn't even on a Black Friday. It was on Thanksgiving evening. I went to Walmart with my son, Wuzzle, bless his heart. Um, I'm going to tell you something about him too. Um. I went with him because he worked at Walmart. So he was like, yeah, let's go. We can get a TV. So we went and got a TV for $100 and um, I got him a laptop. But it wasn't even like I was planning on getting a laptop. And I couldn't even, to, to be honest, I couldn't even get the TV at the time. There weren't any more left. So I was tight. It was like, it was a um, it was $100 TV and it was a 42 inch. It was a 42 inch TV. And I had wanted it for my room. It was hundred dollars. They have no more left, and we was we was like, dang, we came here for nothing, right? We didn't even eat Thanksgiving dinner, so we just chilled and went, you know, Christmas shopping at Walmart. But we didn't. We only went there for two things. So we was about to leave, and we see somebody had their cart in the aisle, um, and it had the TV in it, and it had a laptop. So we looked around. Was there nobody in the aisle? It looked like they just pushed their cart there. I don't know if they was trying to hide it or whatever, but we took that shit and we bought the TV. 
in the laptop. I was like, well, because he he noticed a lot. He don't he noticed the cart, and my son is the one who took the cart. So I was like, all right, well, there's a laptop up in here, HP laptop. I'm going to buy you the laptop just for getting a TV. So I ended up spending more than I wanted to, but it was so worth it. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, you know, I'm just, just chilling. But let me tell you about my son. So, you know, this is, it's been past two years now since he has passed away, August of 2019. And, um, you know, the house that I live in is brand new. It's new. Um, when I say it's new, I've been living in it in eight years. It's probably like about 20 years old. The house is not really old. So it's like about 20 years old, the house. Ain't nobody ever died in there or passed away in there or anything like that. And, you know, my son didn't pass away in my home. He was at his friend's house. So anyway, some strange things have been happening in my house lately. Um, and I don't even want to say they're strange because I would never want to stop them. But some some different things have been going on in my house and it seems like it settles and it's at during it's during the evening like I started noticing it like I'll be in my bed in my bedroom and my bedroom is right by the steps and I always keep my door open I never close my bedroom door to go to sleep because I have to hear everything you know I'm the only adult in the house so you know I gotta keep my guard up um though my daughters have their room door closed that's fine but I need to have my bedroom door open so um I could I hate so I can hear everything so one night I heard somebody coming up the steps and I really did think it was my two daughters and it sounded like somebody in a windbreaker jacket, you know, that swoosh swoosh. So I was like, Hey, you guys. And it was loud. And you can hear them up the steps loud. Nobody didn't respond to me. And I was looking like, all right. So I got out the bed to see where they had went. The girls and their room door was closed and I never heard their door closed. But their room door was closed already and they were asleep. I'm like, okay. And it wasn't Tinky either because he was asleep. So I was like, all right, whatever. Maybe I'm just bugging out. And then the next night after that, <clears throat> where I keep my son's candles in his urn, you know, um, right by my steps right there. Okay, so in my steps, there's like an indent. And I think I've showed it to you guys before. I have like this huge portrait picture of my son along with his his ashes, you know, in his urn. And like candles because I like candles every single night. And it's been going on like that for the past two years. Two candles, you know what I'm saying? And they're in the big glass jars. The, the skinny candles in the glass jars, you know, the votive candles, the religious candles, the religious candles. But I just get them in all white. So I like those every night. So the next night after I heard the windbreaker jacket material in the steps, I'm like, what is that noise? I'm thinking it's the girls now. It's the two candle glasses clanking together. That's what it sounds like, clanking. Just it sounds. That's exactly what it sounds like, clanking together. So I'm thinking, what the heck is going on? So I get out the bed and nobody's there. Nobody's there. The girls are in their room. They um, they are. Where are they sleep? They sleeping again because it's like about eleven. It's like ten o'clock because they gotta go to work in the morning. So she's not even sleeping. She's just chilling in her room. Mumsy sleep. Well, Tinky sleep too because that little boy going to sleep like at eight o'clock, eight o'clock, eight thirty. So it wasn't none of them, and the glasses was, the candles was still lit. So I was like, yo, April, you really are bugging. Like, you're bugging, right? You Maybe you're hearing things. And I will mute the TV. Like, the TV don't be loud because I need to hear everything. And I don't like the TV blasting. So I'm like, maybe I'm just bugging out. Then I start seeing, like, you know, like, later on that night, I'm still awoke. I like to lay in. I, girl, let me tell y'all, I go to bed at, like, 9 o'clock. But I don't be asleep. I just want to lay in the bed. And just be relaxed. I just want to relax. Because I had a long day. So I'll just be trying to go lay down and relax. You know, my legs be hurting and shit. So I see like the shadow at the corner of my eye. And it like goes across me. And I'm like, well, you know, April, you can't see. This is this is the things that I'm telling myself. Because I know that I can't see. And, you know, I just can't see. So I'm thinking like that's just part of my visual or whatever. No, it doesn't stop there. So now my daughter Tati... She's over, and she came over to hang out with Tinky, and she's in Tinky's room, which used to be Wuzzle's room. So she's sitting there on the floor, and there's this black teddy bear that I had bought Wuzzle a long time ago, and always put on his bed, make his bed for him. He's just keeping his room. And now it's sitting on his chair in Tinky's room. Girl... Tati was like, the bear hit her in the back of the head. And I'm like, what are you talking about, the bear? Because, like, what is that? that? That didn't make no sense to me. She was like, no, I'm sitting on the floor. I'm not even sitting on the chair, Mommy. 
and the bear like flew off the chair. I'm like, what do you mean the bear flew off the chair? She's like, I don't even know how to describe it. All I know is I was sitting there and the bear just out of nowhere just came flying and hit and, and hit me in the back of the head. Now the bear is sitting on the chair. The bear is not sitting on the part where you put your butt at. It's sitting on the top of the chair, you know, like where you rest your back, the brim part. The bear is up there. I was like, okay, so maybe it fell off. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it fell off the um the brim part. She was like, no, you don't understand. To fall off, it would just have fell into the chair because the chair is really big. She said it came like flying the way it hit her in the back of the head. It was like a force. And then off of the wall was one of Tinky's hats, little baseball caps. That went falling off the wall all of a sudden. So I didn't really think much of the hat falling off because, you know, I had him up there with little um push pins. And, um, but the bear was kind of weird because the bear is big. And so the way he sits on the chair, his little butt is over the brim. So he's, he's like a nice size bear, like not big, but you know, he's a nice size bear. So he didn't, he don't never fall off. He's always up there. So I just thought it was weird. About a couple nights later, I, um, I hear Tati yelling for me. Okay. Because, um, I'm upstairs and she's hanging out over there with Tinky and it's late. But um, there's no lights on in the kitchen. I mean, when I say there's no lights on, like I have a little light on, you know, like a little under the microwave light, you know, those little lights that, you know, one of those on under the cabinet lights. I have on one of those. So it's not dark in there. And then my other den living room is attached to that kitchen. So I also have like the little track LED lights on over the fireplace. So it doesn't be dark in there because it's downstairs. And I just don't like my house dark. I'd be scary like that. And you don't know somebody trying to break up in your house. You need to see them motherfuckers. And plus, Tinky's room is downstairs too. So I don't want him to be downstairs in the dark dark. So I'm like, what's going on? Okay. And then I start hearing it too. Like, who's in the kitchen? Who's in the kitchen? Because you can hear somebody like rumbling through the dishes and shit. Girl. Wasn't nobody in the kitchen. Mumsy and Nay was upstairs sleep, okay? Mumsy be tired. She be knocked out. And Nay, you know, she be tired too. Now she do go to work. So it wasn't them. And um, we just was like, what the hell's going on? Where is this noise coming from? There was nobody in the kitchen. But we kept hearing these dishes rumbling. There wasn't nobody in the kitchen. So I just was like, you know, that's probably Wuzzle. And it was weird because I thought I heard something too. But I thought, yeah, it probably was the TV. So I just dismissed what I heard. But she was like that. She heard going some noises in the kitchen like somebody was talking. And I was like, girl, you're bugging out. Are you sure? She said, no, I heard voices in the kitchen. So I don't know. It's weird. Um, I really do feel like, you know, spiritual beings be in my house. And I don't think it's beings. I just think it's one particular person. But all of a sudden, this started happening um, over the past I want to say a few months, a couple months. And it seemed like it really started happening more after I had that big moth in my house, like on my house. This big, huge black witch moth, as they're called. They're huge. They're like seven inches. And um, it was weird. But it was right even before that, there were, I found two cocoons in my house of moths. But even before that, like all summer long, yo, I had like about killed no lie i think i killed probably like about i want to say like 10 freaking moths in no lie about 10 moths and probably like less than a week mumsy kept coming and get me yeah there's a moth in here i'm gonna go in my room i'm gonna close the door that's how scared she is of moths she'll close the room and won't come out oh i gotta be the moth killer i don't know where these moths was coming from but it felt like i had like a moth infestation like why are they all in my house and then like after killing all these moths, like a couple weeks later, I see the cocoons embedded in my living room rug because I'm vacuuming. I'm like, what the hell is that? And I look and then I take a picture and I find it. They're cocoons. There was two of them embedded in my rug, moth cocoons. Um, I, They looked like they was whole, kind of like they didn't look like anything came out of them. But all I know is I picked them up with a paper towel and threw them out. I, I didn't want to really look at them, but I think that there were moths in them because they didn't look like they were broken open. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just gross, ew. But they was embedded in my rug behind my dog's 
bed? Like, where the... It just was weird. Like, why the fuck are they in bed in my house? And, you know, you look stuff up, and then it's like, okay, that's, like, spiritual stuff. Certain people believe that spiritual stuff, like butterflies and moths, are, like, you know, the dead that come back to check on you, to say goodbye, certain stuff like that. So then I start seeing them. Then I start seeing all these butterflies, like, surrounding, like, in front of my house and stuff. And I don't like any of them. I just don't like bugs. But, um... Yeah, certain stuff started really, really happening strange after that big moth, the big black witch moth came to my house. That thing was huge. I swear to God, you guys, I thought it was a bat because it was the, the size of a bat almost. Until you look at it and you realize, oh, shit, this is not a bat. It's a fucking moth. Damn, I didn't know they got that big. Anyway, that's what's been going on in my house lately. Um, All these like weird things have been happening. And I really don't want to call them weird because none of this happened in my house before that. So I really think that, you know, I don't know what's going on, but girl, it is what it is. You know, it don't bother me. It hasn't been happening before then. But anyway, but here I am at this goddamn gym. Let me tell y'all, I'm really trying so hard to lose this goddamn weight, but I don't know what is going on and why. I just really don't feel like it's working out for me. Like I be at the gym five days out of the week. Unfortunately, a whole week I missed because of Thanksgiving. But I still weigh the same exact weight, 220 pounds. Like I don't, like I will put on like, okay, so let me see. Last week, you know how much I weighed last week? When I got on the scale, that's when I was like, fuck this. I'm not doing this no more. I don't care. If, if This is me. I was 228 pounds. I was like, what the fuck? I don't even hardly eat nothing. Why? And then I took my... Um, I started taking my um, blood pressure pills. Um, when you take your blood pressure pills, I know for me, it, it makes you pee. So within two days, I had lost the eight pounds, okay? So it probably was like water weight or whatever. I don't, I don't know, but it just seems like my weight is like, bitch, we staying at 220, whether you like it or not. Look, I just want to lose like 30, 40 pounds because I don't feel like buying no new clothes, all right? I just want to go back to my old size, which I was... Like, you know what I'm saying? And be able to put my old clothes back on. I bitch ain't trying to be spending no money like that. <sighs> Whew. That stuff is nasty. But they do say that it's supposed to give you energy and make you really work out and and, and something like that. So... And for $36, it better make me have all the energy in the world for the day and for every day that I take it. Just blue stuff. Blue raspberry. Ugh. So I guess with that being said, I'm going to take my ass in the gym and I'll work it out, honey. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to just work it out. Wish me luck, you guys. I'm just working. All right, guys, I'm done with the gym. I sweated it out. Girl, let me tell y'all, I did something totally different today out the norm, which was that step thing. Girl, I've been looking at that step thing every day that I've been working out at the gym and be looking at people like, y'all look like y'all about to die. Y'all really look like y'all about to die. Girl, I got on that shit for the first time, 11 minutes. 11, not 10, but 11. Girl, I, okay, so I'm gonna be honest and tell y'all, I paused that shit like four times. I had to catch my breath, okay? I definitely had to catch my breath. But honey, let me tell you, that shit made me sweat like nobody's business, okay? And I felt good after that. Then I got on the treadmill. Then I got on some other shit. A girl was working it out today, okay? Sweaty and all. Look at that little flush red skin on the bitch. Yes, hunties, I'm feeling good. And the new Dunkin' Donuts DDs right down the street from my house opened up yesterday, okay? Walked up in that bitch today. And let me tell y'all, this is the first time in a long time that my coffee has been perfect. Good coffee, good workout. Hope you guys have a good rest of the day. I'm feeling good. I'm about to let nobody fuck up my vibes today. So don't y'all let nobody mess up y'all vibes too. But I love y'all and I'll see y'all next month. Bye -bye.